Annyeong everyone, this is the brand new 2023 Mini 3 door Cooper S. And there are so many potential benefits that you get when you add a Mini to your garage. Starting at 3,150,000 pesos, you may also go for the Resolute variant, which costs 3.3 million pesos. There are just so many options, and also you can customize and personalize to your liking. Here in the front fascia, the circular shapes, the iconic grill, and this blacked out badge. Because this is a performance model, there are air dams, air curtains, sensors, and this S badge. There are hard plastics that will protect the car. This is fairly a low car. And we have 17 inch. This is a new rim design. Now, this is a rooftop gray color. This is a brand new color in Mini. Please let me know how you like it. Disc braking system all around, MacPherson in front, multi-link at the back, frameless window. So when you open, the door, it goes down a bit just like a sports car. The rear of the Cooper S is so cute with the Union Jack flag already embedded on the tail lamp and this LED system. There's a camera, blacked out badge, the spoiler and the pole type of antenna. They're really cute. But just look where the exhaust pipes are. And you do have rear fog lamp here in the middle as well. It just creates that balance of cute and also sportiness. This one has about 730 liters of cargo space when you fold the second row. And it also comes with a cover here and it just stays up like that. Reasonable space that you can put some stuff. When you close this, there's also a nice circular handle here. Cute. The three door has safety in mind. Airbag, 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 and airbag. The mini three door has stylish and iconic interior and also exterior. You may find upgrades such as the steering wheel, like these buttons here, the instrument cluster, and the newly updated infotainment screen. Reacts to whatever you're doing, the aircon, and also the temperature, and many more. Right now, the sensor is on because I have my plate on. This air condition controls are somewhat analog, really practical and functional. I hope they never change this, but just take a look at these buttons here. They are just nice to touch and you can also change your driving mode. You can appreciate quality materials. This is the part that gets scary. Just look at this. Ta -da! And look how compact it is. The horn sound. We're in green mode. Mid mode. Sport mode. <laughs> That's exciting. Mini is all about the fun, the cuteness, uh, still is in line with its sport or racing heritage. People who don't know Mini, they think it's just a tiny cute car that is expensive. No, it really does good performance, feels like a go-kart, it makes you happy every time you see it and also when you drive it even though this cooper s three-door model doesn't come with adaptive cruise control there's no ventilated seats and more features that you want to have in your modern car it is such an easy car to drive it's so easy to park and it's so easy to have fun has a 2.0 liter inline four twin power that does about 192 horsepower and 280 newton meters of torque which means it can do 0 to 100 in just 6.7 seconds comfort is not priority in this car you need to have good style you need to be agile and also fast and this one gets the job done when you drive it the handle it feels heavy and i'm also liking that this one has lane keep assist uh, that turns on when you go over 60. And what I also like is the cruise control. Normally, when you turn on cruise control, you need to switch it on and then press the set button for you to set the speed and have it going. But this one, you just press it and it just gets activated right away. So it's easy to set it up. The sound that you hear from the outside, well, this car is quite round everywhere and it does a great job with the uh, aerodynamics it seems because I don't hear any harsh wind noise even though I'm going at 80 so, so 
when you are in echo mode and you press it the car will go but then you will not hear the sound of the exhaust so if you want good sound you might want to just put it to sport mode and you get uh, racing uh, checkered lines on the screen right here it's also red here and and just press it and you don't feel that you're going that fast it's so agile it's quite low but it's a lot bigger than a wiggle oh the sound is fantastic i love it you must drive it to appreciate it mini is doing so well in the philippines there are not so many videos outside in the youtube or in facebook but still it sells so well it is always sought after very much and reliability wise it is getting even better remember in my 2008 or 3008 Pujo videos i always say that it drives like a mini it drives like a bmw but today i'm gonna have to say mini drives a lot better it drives a lot better because it's more agile this one only weighs 1300 kilograms we can also do paddle shifting you can downshift that way like that wow what a fun car to drive and i also had some uh, feedback on the brakes before good power but the brakes were not so good it wasn't biting so well but this one is different you know this unit right here when i first got this it only had 12 kilometers well 15 kilometers of mileage this is brand new brand brand new Oh yeah, but little comment, Mini has mini size sun visors, so just so you know. And that's what I think of the Mini 3-door Cooper S. Now, this one available at 3,150,000 pesos SRP. You may book your test drives with Mini Philippines. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. May your dreams come true.